Welcome to Papaya Podcast, where your journey to a more fulfilled and self-empowered life begins. Are you ready to transform expectations into pure inner strength and peace? I'm Katina, speaking to you from sunny California. And today, we dive deep into redefining maturity in a way that liberates you. In this inaugural episode of Papaya Podcast, the spotlight is on a transformative concept. The best way for adults to live is by lowering expectations of others. While this idea is not new, many of us haven't grasped its full impact on our happiness and well-being. Expectations often appear through rose-colored lenses, illusory filters that idealize outcomes. They encourage optimism and positivity. Yet what happens when reality falls short? A profound statement by an author encapsulates this. I gradually realized why I'm not happy. It's because I always wait for a certain result. Reading a book, I expect to become more insightful. After a run, I hope to lose weight. Sending a message to someone, I hope to receive a reply. Treating others well, I expect them to reciprocate. If these expectations come true, I will sigh with relief. But if not, I will complain and lament. Indeed, we are constantly living with expectations of others, expecting outcomes to align with our desires. If they do, we are happy. If not, we are very sad. Why is our joy so fragile? It depends on others and is limited by too many expectations. If I were to give expectations another name, I would call them a double-edged sword. Living in this world requires expectations. One that suits oneself can give you confidence and motivation. But if expectations are always placed on others, they will turn back and hurt you. Consider whether these things often occur in our lives. Parents expect their children to attend prestigious schools, enter gifted classes, and score high marks. If the children cannot achieve these, they become disappointed, sad, even angry, and utter hurtful words. Children want their parents to buy their favorite things, and if parents refuse, many children feel upset and hurt. In a company, superiors expect their subordinates to work more efficiently and diligently each day. But when employees' lackluster results anger the leaders, employees think that since they've worked hard and achieved much, they expect a raise or a reward this month. Yet, if there is no reward, they become resentful inside. One day, you hope your boyfriend will prepare a romantic birthday party, but there's just a simple gift, and you're deeply disappointed. He hopes you understand that work has been overwhelming and tiring lately, leaving no time to prepare a grand party. But the girlfriend does not understand and turns back to scold him, which makes him feel very sad, thinking that his partner doesn't understand him. Do you see? Most of us think about ourselves first. When we elevate ourselves, we naturally want to change others, especially those closest to us, thinking they have more responsibility to meet our wishes. Under the guise of being family, loved ones, or someone with authority, we bind responsibilities to others. However, no one in this world is obligated to fulfill your desires. Why do some bosses have high expectations of employees, especially those who have been with the company for a long time? When the results don't meet their expectations, they might reprimand or even severely scold, believing that no matter how much they berate, the employee won't leave. It's because they believe that there is a strong bond between them and the employee, just like between parents and children, spouses, and lovers. In front of loved ones, we become completely comfortable and assume that meeting our desires is a given. When things don't go as planned, it is natural to feel angry and full of disappointment. As the saying goes, we often present our best side to strangers while showing the worst to those we love. Why do we allow ourselves to be angry when they don't meet our expectations? It's because we think that no matter what happens, they won't leave us. But what makes you think that they will stay with you forever? The more expectations accumulate in your heart, the heavier the burden becomes, dragging you into negative emotions like anger, disappointment, and sadness, which may cause you to lose precious things before you even realize it. Expecting from others is handing over your happiness to someone else. You expect others to change according to your wishes. 
Failure is inevitable because you cannot change anyone in this world. The only person you can change is yourself. Changing others will only cause you suffering, while changing yourself is the start of happiness. Don't shift the responsibility to make yourself happy onto those around you. This is your responsibility. Lower your expectations of others, and you will find life is lighter and more joyful. A friend once confided in me about her boyfriend. I love arranging flowers in the living room, and he passes by a flower shop every day, but never buys me a bouquet. I get tired cooking, so why doesn't he help me with the dishes? Every time we argue over trivial matters, every time he doesn't do as I want, I wonder if I've chosen the wrong person. I simply asked her, what about the times when you're sick and he goes to buy medicine for you? Or when you're feeling down from outside troubles and he tries to make you smile? No one in this world is perfect. If we only wear expectation-tinted glasses to look at others, we will only see their flaws while forgetting what they have done for us. Having too high expectations of others is a poison that kills personal happiness. It harms others with words of blame, and it also harms you. A sign of immaturity is always expecting others to meet your standards. True maturity is about acceptance and respecting differences. Two leaves on the same branch are not identical, so why do we demand everything to grow according to our standards? Having high expectations leads us to view everything with dissatisfaction, making it seem as if everything around us is prickly thorns, and the one getting hurt by these thorns is you. To remove the thorns from your eyes and ease the burdens in your heart, first, remove the expectation-tinted glasses. The person making you unhappy is not whom you expect something from, but rather the expectations you have placed upon them. Lowering expectations of others and reducing the desire for them to change to please you, as well as easing expectations of certain results, can lead to a happier life. Learn to rely on yourself and focus on changing yourself first. Happiness will naturally follow. Lowering expectations of others is the best way for an adult to live. If you agree with the perspective of Papya Podcast, please click like, subscribe, and share these useful insights, spreading love to those around you. And don't forget to turn on the notification to receive the latest content every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Papya TV's YouTube channel. This is the greatest support you can give us. Thank you for listening. Papia TV will always accompany you in becoming a better version every day.